natürlich klar zu sein gehen. Pilot and Plane video talking about his uh, Freedom Fox, yes. Kit Fox, which is pretty cool. Shit. So we came out here, check out our sweet truck. Shout out to uh, Ed Kenley. Shout out to Ed Kenley uh, in, in Layton, Utah. Killing it, hooking it up with the Ford F-150. Probably the coolest car I've ever Dude, driven. Dude, carbon fiber inlay everywhere, yeah. just like trimming it out. If you're, in, if you're in the Layton area in Utah and you're looking for a Ford, Ed Kenley. All right, let's go check out what's inside here. Done, let's go check the hangar. Oh, Craig. Dude, they're having like crazy sessions. Like, where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna fly? Where are we gonna eat lunch? Are we gonna eat breakfast? Are we gonna grab lunch and go there? It's crazy. We're gonna, we're Should we land in the water? Should we land on the top of a tree? Like, it's crazy stuff right now. Probably, awesome. probably the best pre-flight discussion I've ever heard. I, I thought it was gonna be like, all right, well, you check this off. This now they're like, dude, should we, should we land on the sandbars or should we go up into the red rocks and land on cliffs? Like, should we bring lunch yes. and have a picnic? <laughs> Flying Cowboys Day, dude. It's gonna be it's insane. Gonna be insane. Check the links below. Trent Palmer's got a sweet YouTube channel. Flying Cowboys. I'll have some links. We'll have all the links. Check out Sean Doris. We got some friends here with us. It's gonna be great. Let's do it, dude. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I'm walking down here to the fuel pump. Stefan's going with Trent. So you guys will get a little bit of riding along with Trent and the Freedom Fox and Stefan. I'm going down here. I'm gonna see, I don't know, Corey or Mark. Both of them fly carbon cubs. <laughs> which is sick. I'm gonna be going up with, with that one of them and we're going on an adventure, guys. This is absolutely amazing. I have a feeling that it's safe to say that we'll be back in Utah at some point in the future. So I'm here with my buddy Mark. He, he, he got elected to carry me, I'm the big guy. I weigh, I weigh 200 plus and he was just saying that when it's a short runway, they'll take their hat off to reduce the weight to make sure they get that extra take performance. Take a leak from the air if you have so to. So he's, he's sacrificing for me today and I appreciate it, man. No problem, it's gonna be a good time. So you're based out of here. That's, your, that's you and your brother's sweet hanger. That's my brother's. My sweet hangers over here. Oh, <laughs> it's not as sweet as that one. So you got two it's, sweet hangers. Nice. That's awesome. So we're going up in the Carbon Cub. What, what model Carbon Cub is this? Uh, it's the Carbon Cub EX, which is experimental built. It lets us do things like really trick suspension and make modifications without having to worry about the um, FAA restrictions and limitations. It also limits what you can do with the aircraft. You can't use it, you know, for hire. But we kind of like to compete. If yeah. you want to compete. Um, yeah. It's best to have an experimental version. You get to play so, with it more. And this guy with this airplane, sorry, we got an airplane taken off in the back, but you actually won the, the recent Sierra Nevada, what is it called? Yeah, the World Championship Skull Drag Race. Nice. We'll put a link in the description below for that. We're going to get going, though. We'll see you guys in the air. Figure out where we should go. Should we go to Rock Creek first and then down to Mexican Mountain? I think it'd be fun taking right up over the top spot if we wanted to. We could land there at Tabo Puts, but uh, go over the cabin and drop down that canyon would be a fun ride. Where are you guys going today? We're going to go into the canyons and dirt. Fun fun. I'm going to get a kind of a little bit of a head start on you guys since you're faster than me.
on you, Corey. And I know so. Let me know if you want me to do anything. Yeah, just tighten it up. Roll inverted. Tighten it up. Watch out, I might just do that. <laughs> oh, that's such a pretty airplane. The sun hitting up like that. The mountain. Wow. <laughs> that's a beautiful plane. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Smile. Haha, <laughs> much better. I like that. Put it in a slip so we can see your face. <laughs> that's funny. It's only four dollars in fuel. <laughs> I can smell it. My bad. You got your avionics here. You just got the Garmin touchscreen. Yeah, it's the new G3X Touch, and it gives you all your flight instruments. I've got all my my mapping instruments, all my flight instruments here, my engine instruments here, my fuel computer, everything, and I can you know touch that, and see more of it if I want. I can see full screen if I want just to flight in instruments for the smaller map over here. Flight oh, wow. plan would be over here. So it's it's everything all on one screen. I can go to my charts page and see where we are on a chart. And uh, waypoint information, weather information. Um, it's got traffic, so I can see. So here's traffic all around the country. Um, train. And then what I do, this is my traffic page, information page, engine page, and then I can come back here. And on my map, I have multiple things turned on. So I've got my map overlaid on that. I've got my train warnings, and then my traffic. If there's traffic in the area, it'll show up on here as well. It'll also show up traffic on this left side in a three-dimensional view. Nice, and that, uh, I'm assuming the yellow on the red there is like your topography yep. of the land. Yep, yellow is within 1,000 feet, red's within 200 feet, or it's higher than you. Nice. So we can just zoom in and, and see right here, we're going to clear these hills ahead of us. Yeah. Oh, by around a thousand feet. I, I can't help but notice you're not even flying the airplane right now. No, it's, um, I get teased a lot because this is a, a competition airplane. We do everything we can to pull weight out of the aircraft, and I mean everything. I made this carbon fiber panel, and we strip parts and exchange parts to save grams and ounces, but I have an autopilot, two autopilot <laughs> servos. So I get teased a lot. But hey, you're safe here. I don't judge, man. <laughs> That's right. Hey, there's the boys. Oh, yeah. Two of them right there. Need uh, five o'clock. You probably already got me. Yep. All right, boys, where do you want me? Off of Jason or Trent? I'll pull in on Jason. And Alex, you've got to push the talk if Mark didn't already show it to you. Yeah, I got it. You guys, I'm, I'm listening. Roger. All right, I'm moving in. Jason, I'm coming to your seven o'clock. Little bump here. Yeah, I saw that. Yo, seven, look left, dude. What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Alex, look out of your left. There's power lines coming up in a mile. Hey, Corey, why don't you pop down on the other side of me so that Stefan can get all of us? Okay, I'm gonna go up and over. You got the power lines coming up, Corey? I'm all above you guys, so hopefully you guys got them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jason, I'm moving back in the spot. <laughs> Did I just hear Jason say he's not landing in the dirt anymore? Who are you? <laughs> hey Jason, can you pull it back like a five miles an hour maybe? Yep. Thank you. You catching up, Wally? I'm working on it. I'm glad Jason's pulling back five because I'm just barely creeping up on you guys. Yeah, I was firewall trying to catch right then. If you can pull it back a little slower, it helped me out catching up. I'm only about 200 yards behind you. Okay, what's your ground speed? I'll be coming up on Mark's left. Got some kind of backcountry Blue Angels going on around here. <laughs> Blue Angels, they be proud of us. 100 yards, uh, Mark 8, coming up. Yeah, my ground speed's 110 if you want a closer perspective. Okay, I'm at 115. Are you getting any bad air off my wing? A little bit. But it's consistently bad. <laughs> I just hold pressure against it. Like I'm, my right wing's surfing your wake. Yep. 
So, Wallace, we got a video in, in my plane. If you want to get more airplanes in the video or be in it, might head over by Corey. Okay, I'll go off Corey's point. Why don't we do a diamond? Why don't you join up on uh, Jason's left? Mark, give him a little space, and I'll jump in the slot. Mark's your plane. I know how to fly off. Anybody else in the fleet? <laughs> Going under the formation right now. My plane has an invisible tether to Jason's, and it generally likes to park at 4 o'clock. <laughs> if I let go of the controls, it'll automatically find itself right there. You guys, that was so cool looking up at you guys flying in formation. I wish I had a nice camera to film that. Yeah. Too cool, man. This is awesome. <laughs> That's weird. I think there are two people talking on each other right there. Yeah, I was asking Alex if he thinks he's got it, if we can uh, relax now. Oh yeah, we got plenty. The, the footage and the conversation was all awesome. I'm recording all the audio, by the way. All right, I'm gonna pull up a little bit, get a little bit ahead. I gotta do a clearing turn here in a minute. Yeah, I think my- Okay, you wanna film that, probably. I know, I'm not stopping. <laughs> See, that's what, that's what I've learned, is when you tell them that the camera's off, that's when the good stuff happens. Probably about to get dirty here. Am I far enough ahead of you guys? Yes, sir. All right, I gotta do a clearing turn here real quick. So, um, it doesn't matter, does it? Normally, with someone when they're doing their first turn like that, I'm riding with them yeah. and correcting on things. I didn't know that you were like, centered on the ball, perfect held altitude. <laughs> All right, you're a pilot already. Yeah. Yeah. He, he always told me to look at the horizon. Yeah. Every, all of your flying should be done looking out the window, especially um, in a plane like this. It, it, it's crazy, though, to think about like how easy this plane is to fly when it's all said and done kind of thing. Well, take your hand off and your feet off. Alright guys, I no, stopped recording. Now, pull your feet back for a so you know that we have nothing. Cool. Like, I can literally, know. if you lean forward too, if we lean forward, the nose is gonna fall down. See that? I can lean back. And if I want to turn, I can just touch a little right rudder right now, not even touching the stick. And then I'll just let it off and it'll do a slow right turn. Everything can be done, and that's why like Mark can fly without touching the stick. So the big problem people have is they get in here and they're death gripping and they're just doing too much. Right. Most of the time it doesn't take anything you can fly in. Um, for the most part, it doesn't really take any inputs or skill to, to fly these things. That's so, that's so cool. Oh, he can hold altitude and heading and he's not even a pilot. He <laughs> knows what he's doing. Yeah. It's just like an RC plane. Well, if you fly RC airplanes, you can certainly fly a full-size airplane. They're a lot easier. <laughs> they just hurt more when they crash. <laughs> Let's see how he does on landing. <laughs> I've owned like 150 RC airplanes and I've crashed every one. I've had this one for like 30 years. I'm good. <laughs> Great. Welcome to the group. We can get you five by five now. I think your decision making process might be a little more serious with a real airplane. Well, that's true. I try not to fly a uh, real airplane in the uh, field behind my house. <laughs> I often try to fly real airplanes in builds behind any house I can find that's big enough. I don't know if we want that on camera. Oh, you can land. You get permission to land in someone's backyard. They got the land and acreage to do it. Heck yeah. I want to do that now. That it's the uh, airport right ahead. I don't see any airport. <laughs> no airport I'm used to. You don't see it? Nope. It's right here, this ridge top. <laughs> this airport's pretty easy to find. Here's the cabin. Uh, oh, I see it. That's the air. That's pretty cool. So we're landing or no? Uh, I see. Is that the strip right there? Uh, well, I don't know. I guess so. I say let's land. Am I in the lead? Your lead. All right, I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna land. I may just look at it and then come back around. Make sure there's no cows and stuff. Towards the end, we don't need much yeah, of the runway. Gotcha. Oh wow, look at all. What is that? 
Oh, it's elk. There's a whole herd of elk right here. <laughs> they are freaking out. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of elk. Look at that. There is, look at that bull. Holy crap. That is awesome. Holy mackerel. You guys with the cameras better get that. That's amazing. I'm trying. I'm trying. Jeez. Look at all that. That bull was huge. <laughs> Jason, are you touching down or continuing? I'm going to land. It's barely too close behind you. I'll go around. Okay, I'm left crosswind. Wally's on base. Right base or left base? I'm on right base. I got And Trent's on final. It's Rep's gotten bigger. All right, Wally looking for you. I have eyes on you. You're on my 11th, and uh, I'm on final. Roger, we'll extend until we see you. I see you, right there. Yeah, we're, uh, we, we've got about 300 meters between us. I've got you now. Hard to see. Oh, he's... <laughs> he's got to do something about that. He's going to have to put some bright orange targets on top of his wing or something. Maybe a bright Vestux logo. Yeah. All right, Creighton, if you can hear me, we're on the ground at upper seven foot. Dude. What? <laughs> what? No joke, dude. dude. I told Trent, dude, I was like, top three experiences for sure in my entire life. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my Seriously. gosh. Seriously, and I've had the privilege of flying quite a few things. Not a ton, but more than most people. Yeah. This is by far one of the coolest things. It's up there with paramotoring. Uh, paramotoring is one of my favorite, and this is right alongside it. Maybe even cooler, dude, but it I, comes at a price tag, obviously. Oh my gosh. We're at 9,000 feet at some of one of their friends' private property. Yeah. We just passed, like, 30 elk, elk. that were just hanging, chilling right on this runway. Yeah. Right on this dude. runway. And they just ran away. It's like Lion King up in here. They're like, ah, <laughs> The coolest thing though, dude, like the flying was cool formation. Yeah. But like hearing the banter of like all these, yes. these dudes are all buddies and you can tell because the they're relation just, access is awesome. They're giving each other a hard time on the radio. It was <laughs> yeah. awesome. Dude, you and I got to talk to each other. Dude, that was so cool. It was sick. So I'm waiting on Creighton. Creighton's got the uh the, the classic trainers paint scheme, the yellow yep. and the blue. Yep. He's got my backpack. I mean, we're here with the Flying Cowboys and our minds have already been blown. Exploded. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And they're like, we haven't even started yet. Yeah. So <laughs> give us like a quick teaser taste of like what, what we're going to expect in anybody of what we're going to do next. I've never well, been here. So these okay. Like so we're going to come right off this runway. Okay. And then there's a big canyon and Deeper we're going to drop. Deeper than the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Deeper than the Grand Canyon. No and we're going to drop like 5,000 feet in about eight minutes down to the river bottom and we're gonna land down there at the bottom and the Green River and it's gonna be a pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty tight down there and it's gonna be fun. Now you've done okay. this before. Yeah. I hope, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I hope so. Was it this canyon or was it another one? I don't know if it was this one or not. All right, so we got a little bit of a head start on the rest of the Flying Cowboys. We got, this is what I'm super excited about this. We have a couple guys from the space station coming in flying with Mike coming in flying this Wilga. If you guys don't know what a Wilga is, pause the video, do a Google search. This is like one of the coolest planes in the world. Oh, it was Four passenger, it's like a monster truck that flies. Yeah, exactly. Here it comes, dude, here it comes. Dude, there's a tree there. Oh yes, my gosh, dude. Oh, man. That thing sounds like that a butter flying sick. through the air. Yeah, that was good.